Hello, and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today, we are so excited to be introducing two brand new stamp sets. First up, we have You Autumn Know and its coordinating dies, and this set is so cute with those little mice and fall leaves. And then we have scripty autumn sentiments with these beautiful sentiments and coordinating dies that can cut them out. So let's go ahead and check them out. First, we're gonna take a look at You Autumn Know, and our adorable mice are back in action playing with fall leaves. So we have the cutest little mice in this set. I love this little guy. He's got kind of a cool yay position. This guy is flying through the air, and this guy can land in leaves. And there's lots of ways to mix and match these mice with the leaves in this set. So we have this nice large leaf that they can ride on, and then some smaller leaves that are super cute. And I'll show you different ways to mix and match these together. And I love all the different styles of leaves, and of course, we have a pile of leaves too. We have a rake to help set the scene and then this great little speech bubble that has some words in it. We also have some little swirlies here to show the movement of the wind and the leaves kind of falling through the wind. And then there are those words that fit in the speech bubble. So we have thank you, wee, and also I love you. And so those are so cute and the wee is my favorite and they all fit perfectly in that little speech bubble. We also have some great sentiments in this set. So there are a lot of mix and match here. We have floating by to say, happy, happy day, or floating by to say, I believe in you. We also have you really autumn know, and you could do the I believe in you there, or how much I love you, or I'm thankful for you. So lots of mix and match fun things that you can do. You can also do floating by to say, I'm thankful for you. And here is a look at those cute mice. Now we're going to add some color to these using some Copic markers. When I'm coloring these mice, I typically use kind of E30 markers, but I'm using E40s here, and I really like these colors for fall. I feel like they really go with the fall colors. And so you can see I'm adding some shading to the outside edges and then blending light there towards the right side of his body just to give him a fun little shadow. Then we'll add some warm gray for their bellies and some little pinks for their ears and noses. And I always like giving them little rosy cheeks too. And then next up, we're gonna start using those E30 markers that are my favorites for coloring these mice. And these little mice are sized perfectly to work with all of our previous mice sets. So you can mix and match all these mice for even bigger scenes, but these guys, oh my goodness, they're so cute. So here you can see how I like to lay down a light marker. Then I go and put my dark and then medium and light. This helps me blend it out and also decide where my shadows are gonna go. I'm gonna add some pink for some ears and the warm grays for the bellies. And now we're gonna have some fun coloring in these leaves. So I'm gonna go from red to orange to yellow in a lot of these leaves. Um, and I think it looks so cool and so pretty. And these reds and oranges and yellows are a little bit softer than what I normally do, which I really like. I'm gonna do some bold colors a little bit later on, but I thought it was really, really pretty and I just love how they turned out. So I really liked being able to look through my markers and see I need kind of a lighter red, orange, and yellow and just mix them together and look how beautiful it looks. I just, I, I think it's stunning. Now we're gonna do something similar here, but we're just gonna do some olive greens that are kind of more in the same family here. And I think the olive greens make those reds pop even more. And I really like the mix of them in this little leaf pile there. So I'm adding the darkest at the bottom and then blending it out to light. Um, and just, just like that. And you can see just how pretty it is and really, really easy to do. And then we're gonna bring in some brown for these nice fall colors. I just love the mix of these colors. It's so pretty, it makes me ready for fall. It's just so gorgeous. And once again, really simple, just dark, medium, light, and done. I'm gonna use some similar colors on the rake there just so everything blends together. And then a little bit of warm gray on that speech bubble just to give it a little extra something. And I just love how these mice turned out. Look how beautiful those colors are. They're so much fun to color. Now we're gonna take a look at Scripty Autumn Sentiments, which is another fun mix and match sentiment set. We have Sending Happy or Hello, which you can mix and match with these larger scripted words like autumn and fall. And then under this, you can do wishes your way. So sending happy autumn wishes your way or hello autumn, hello fall. You could also just do sending happy wishes your way. So there's a lot of mixing and matching here, which makes this sentiment set great for fall, but wonderful for year round too. I'm so very grateful for friends like you might be my favorite part of this whole whole set. It's so gorgeous. We also have give thanks, or you could use the thanks on its own, or give thanks for being you. Thanks for being you. Thanks for me to you. So you can see how you can really mix and match these. And then we have filled with gratitude. And then we can also kind of do some mixing and matching. So filled with gratitude for friends like you. 
or filled with gratitude from me to you or thanks from me to you. So you can see how you can really get so many fun sentiments for all year round with this set. And then we included some more leaves in the set that are great on their own, but they're also really great mixed with You Autumn Know. So I love that these two sets work great separately, but they also work great together. And we have some fun little swirlies for these leaves to help show the motion too. So I just love those beautiful scripted words. They're so pretty. And now we're gonna add some color to the leaves, but this time we're gonna stay all within just reds for this leaf, just oranges, just yellows, and we're using really bold colors this time. So I love that you can really have fun with the leaves and just mix and match whatever markers you happen to have in your stash, and look how gorgeous that looks. I just love the reds and oranges for fall. So here's a look at how you can mix and match these sets together. They work great on their own, but they're also really great together. Those leaves are fun to mix and match because you can have the movement going in all different directions. I just love these sets so much. So we're gonna go ahead now and check out the coordinating dies for each of these. So these are the dies for You Autumn Know, which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. We're gonna take those dies and we're gonna line them up with our stamped images and hold them in place with low tack tape. I really like to use post-it note tape. Tape. washi tape is really good too. We're gonna to add all of our dies on and then we're gonna run that through our die cut machine and now we're gonna have perfectly cut out cute little tiny mice that are ready to go on a card. And here is a look at all of the images from the set and different ways to mix and match it. So that little guy can ride on the leaf or this guy can celebrate in his leaf pile. This guy can be flying through the air holding on to leaves which might be one of my favorite images from the set. That little guy can land on that large leaf. He can also land in the leaf pile too. And you can mix and match which leaves that little mouse is holding and how you kind of put all of these different little scenes together which is just so much fun. You can of course add more leaves and add those little swirlies as well which looks so cute with this set. Next, we're gonna take a look at the coordinating dies for Scripty Autumn Sentiments, which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. And I love these dies because they cut out these delicate words. So we're gonna take these dies and line them up with the words and leaves in the set, hold it in place with some low tack tape. We'll add all of them on there, run it through the die cut machine, and now you'll see that we have perfectly beautifully cut out words that are ready to put on a card. And here is a look at all of the sentiments and leaves and swirlies in the set. I just love these so much. It's really fun to layer the leaves together and layer the little swirls on top or layer the leaves around the words too, which turns out so beautiful. I really like heat embossing these words and then cutting them out. It gives this really delicate, beautiful look, almost like it's been foiled. Now it's time to create a card with these sets. And for the first card, we're gonna create an interactive slider card that's gonna use both sets together. And here I'm using the largest outside in stitched rectangle die. And I die cut some Bristol Smooth cardstock cause that's really easy to ink blend on. And then we have three distressed ink colors here, picked raspberry, dried marigold, and squeezed lemonade. And I am creating a background and coloring all of my elements similar to a card by Megan. And I love the card so much, but I thought, oh gosh, it might be fun to turn it landscape and into a slider. So it's fun to be inspired by our friends and then create something a little bit different too. So I've laid down the yellow color and now I'm going through the orange. And then what I like to do is go back and forth. So now orange and then pink, orange and then pink. And that's gonna help us blend those in and also build up the color to be really pretty like this. And this is the most gorgeous fall sky. We're gonna take some of that pink raspberry, which is the pink color, smear it on the mat, add a little bit of water, and I'm gonna take a tiny paintbrush, mix the water in with that ink, and we're gonna create some ink splatters by tapping the paintbrush. So I'm kinda of just mixing that together, seeing how it's gonna look. I added a little bit more water to kinda of thin it out, and then I'm gonna tap the paintbrush and add all of these splatters. Not only does this add texture, but it kinda of covers up any areas where you might not have ink blended that well, and it makes the whole thing look really, really cool. It also reminds me like there's kind of like dust and falling leaves in the air. I just love this. I want to make all fall backgrounds these colors now. Now we're also going to die cut a simple grassy hillside here and we die cut that from the stitched rectangle as well so that they'll be stitching all the way around. And this time we're gonna ink with some lawn fawn inks. So we have some celery stick, freshly cut grass, and jalapeno and you can mix these all to get a gradient of green. So we'll have a lighter green and then a darker green and the darkest is gonna be on the top of those little grass pieces. Now that we've created the perfect fall background, it's time to start working with some of these cute stamped images. So we went ahead and stamped and colored images from You Autumn Know, and I love the non-traditional colors for the fall leaves. So we have the traditional here, kind of orange and yellow, but we've added in purple and turquoise to give a cool different look, and this is such a fun fall color palette. 
We're going to add some tape runner to the bottom of that cute little mouse and he can ride that little leaf perfectly and he's going to be a part of our slider mechanism. Now I need to know exactly where to place the slider. So right now I'm not taping anything down. I'm just laying everything onto the card to create my scene to see where the slider will look best. So we're going to add the little guy bouncing into the leaves and then we're going to take that slide on over die and place it onto the scene and kind of see how it's looking. Once we have a placement that we like, we're going to put some low tack tape on there and then I can run it through the die cut machine. And we're just going to sweep off all of those extra pieces there so that way they don't get messed up in the die cut machine and we're just going to run the background through. We're also going to keep that little interior piece and we're going to use that later on when we build our slider mechanism. Now before we build our slider and also attach all our cute stamped and die cut pieces, I want to make sure to stamp the sentiment in the background. So I'm going to using scripty autumn sentiments. We're going to have the word autumn die cut and then the rest of the sentiment is going to be stamped. So I have those there, perfect placement. I'm going to pick it up with my misty tool and we're going to stamp it in some brown ink. You'll see I'm using some stays on ink because my background was still a little bit wet and I was too impatient to let it dry. So I'm using some stays on so that I knew the ink wouldn't smear at all. And we've stamped sending happy and wish is your way and now we're going to start working on our slider mechanism. So first we're going to add some tape runner to that grass and permanently attach that to the bottom and then we're going to work on the slider. And for sliders I like to use triple foam. Seems maybe a little excessive but I think sliders work so well when you do them with triple foam. You can also do them with double foam. They work well that way too but triple foam kind of has my heart. I really love how they look and they feel so sturdy and they move so fast. So you'll see I'm going to double up my foam tape and and then I'm going to fold it in half again to triple it up. Now that our foam is ready to go, we're going to work on the slider mechanism. And I like to use a penny for my slider. You could also use a washer or some just kind of heavy small object like this works great for sliders. So we're going to take out that penny and our cute little mouse on the leaf. And then we're going to take some of that tripled up foam and I'm going to cut a skinny little piece that's about the width of the penny and that's skinnier than my track. So you'll see I'll kind of place it in the track and make sure it was a little too thick. I'm going to trim off a little bit more and make sure it's nice and thin and then it's going to fit in that track well and once I have that I'm going to attach that to the penny and then we're going to do the perfect trick for sliders and that's using a powder tool. I love these anti-static powder tools. You could also just use some baby powder or cornstarch something like that on a paintbrush but we're going to go around the edges of that foam tape and that's going to help remove any of the stickiness on the outside of the edges so that it's going to move nice and smoothly throughout the track. Then we can peel up the liner paper at the top. I'm going to put it through our little slider track and then we'll be able to attach our mouse and leaf right to that penny and that's going to form the mechanism so that our mouse on the leaf can slide through the sky. Now we're going to add the tripled up foam to the back of the panel and we want to make sure as we add the foam that we're not getting in the way of the movement of that penny. So as I add the foam I'll also move the penny around and make sure that that foam tape isn't in the way. And I always like to check it when I'm all done and my little mouse can move freely. So now it's time to start decorating the rest of the scene. And we're going to do that first by creating the rest of our sentiment. So we've got some ground coffee cardstock here, which is a nice dark brown. We're going to add the anti-static powder tool and stamp the word autumn with some clear embossing ink. And then we'll add some white heat embossing powder that will only stick to that sticky ink instead of the rest of the cardstock since we put that powder on there. And then we're going to heat it up with our heat tool and it's going to be this beautiful, nice, bright white sentiment. Now the sentiments in Scripty Autumn Sentiments have those really cool matching coordinating dies and when you die cut this it looks absolutely incredible and it's the perfect accent on a card. Now as I start to attach all of our stamped and colored images, I'm making sure to use tape runner, so flat adhesive, so that it's not in the way of the movement of the mouse. So I have no other foam tape on this card, everything else is nice and flat, and then that cute little mouse on the leaf is going to be able to fly through the sky. So I'm adding all of these little pieces on, putting some other leaves in the sky to kind of help finish out the scene, and then I'm taking some peacock cardstock here that's going to be five and a half by four and a quarter, standard size card size, and we're going to layer this whole panel on top. So I removed all of that liner tape and now we're going to stick it down onto our card base.
Now, right now, our sky doesn't look very cohesive because you can see that peacock cardstock through it. And that's why we kept that little piece at the very beginning of this card so that we can layer that behind. So I just added some tape runner onto it and I'm literally just tucking it behind that penny. So behind the stamped image and behind the penny. And then we're going to tape it right down to that peacock cardstock. And then we're going to take that powder tool again and we are just going to powder that whole area. And this is going to help your slider move really well and kind of take any stick out of any extra adhesive that might be hanging around this whole area. And now you can see that our little guy is moving through the sky. Last step is to take a card base here that's going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. We'll add some tape runner to that card base and then we can layer the entire piece that we worked down on top. And now this card is done and it is so cute. I had so much fun making this card. The little slider is absolutely adorable. This color palette is so pretty. And watch as he goes through the sky. Is that not the sweetest thing you've ever seen? I love it. I also love that you could take this same card design and just make it a normal card without a slider and just have the little guy floating through the air. So there's so many fun things that you can do with these sets. I love combining them together and I love using them on their own too. And that's what we're going to work on next. We're going to create a card just using the Scripty Autumn Sentiment stamp without the You Autumn No stamp set. And the first thing we're going to do is take out the brand new Sweater Weather Remix paper. And I love this paper so much. And we're going to kind of peek through and see which papers might look cute together. And I love the sunflower one. And then we're also going to take out this one that says Sweater Weather and Cozy on it, which is so sweet and cute. And we're going to be die cutting that with the largest of the small stitched rectangles. And our sunflower piece is cut to a standard size card at five and a half by four and a quarter. And so they're going to layer really nicely so you can see those sunflowers peeking out from behind. Next up, we're going to take the brand new Magic Iris Fall Leaves add-on, and I love this die. It's so pretty. Of course, it's really cool with the Magic Iris, but I really love using it on its own, too. And here I've die cut it from some white cardstock, and to add some color, we're going to be using some Distress Oxide inks and colors that are going to coordinate with the colors in the sweater weather paper. So first up, we're going to start off with Cracked Pistachio, and I'm just taking some post-its here and kind of masking off the other leaves and adding the color onto the leaves, and I'm making sure it gets lighter and lighter as it goes towards the center ring. So this is kind of be kind of like a rustic look. I have a tendency to, to always like everything to be completely inked or completely full, but in this case, we're going to let it go light into nothing towards that white center ring, and it's going to look really, really cool. So we're going to work on all of the leaves first with our cracked pistachio. And you can see I'm using one of these tiny little bendel brushes. It reminds me of like a dental instrument. <laughs> That's what it kind of looks like, but it's really nice for inking these areas. You could also use a bigger one and just allow more ink to get on the center ring, which would look really pretty too. And now we're going to repeat the same idea with a new color, and we're going to use Wild Honey next, and we're going to be doing that on one of the small leaves and one of the larger leaves. Once again, inking, keeping it darker towards the top, and fading out into nothing towards that white center ring. Then we're going to take out some ripe persimmon to do the other leaves for a nice bright orange. The last step is to do the berries, and we're going to start off with some picked raspberry ink with this nice kind of bold pink color, and then for the actual berry section, we're going to be using festive berries. I figured that was a good color for berries, and we're just going to add that to the very tops of those little areas just to darken up the berries just a little bit. And then here you can see what a beautiful match it is for the colors in the paper collection, and leaving that center ring white really kind of makes it pop on the whole area. So now we're going to take out that beautiful Scripty Autumn Sentiment stamp set, and we're going to be stamping in some deep sea ink, which is a nice dark navy blue. So we're going to stamp that down, and we're stamping with our Misty for a good reason here, because we want to be able to stamp over this ink with some clear embossing ink. So I'm going to wipe off that little stamp there, make sure it's nice and clean, and then we're going to ink it up with our clear embossing ink, and that's going to stamp right over that beautiful navy blue color that we did. Now that's going to give it a nice sticky area, and we're going to be adding some clear embossing powder to this. And this is a technique that I don't do very often, but I really like it, and I need to remember to do it more because it looks so pretty. So we're going to add the clear embossing powder on top, heat it up, and it's going to look like we heated this with a navy embossing powder. But really, we just layered the two inks on top of each other, and it makes it so pretty, and it's really going to help it stick out from the card since there's a lot going on on this card. Then we're going to take the coordinating dies for the Scripty Autumn Sentiment set and run that through the die cut machine, and look how pretty and shiny that is. Oh, I just love it. So next up, we're going to start building this card. So we're going to add that pattern paper that we die cut with the stitched rectangle, and we're going to layer that onto that beautiful sunflower paper. 
And then we're gonna work with the center circle of that magic iris die. So when you die cut that magic iris fall leaves add-on, it also gives you this center circle. And when I saw it plain white on the card, it didn't look quite right. Like it's fall, right? We need some more something going on. So we're gonna take out the brand new fall leaves background stencil, and we're gonna stencil it onto white with a very light color ink, and that's called Sugar Cookie. And I love this ink for something very subtle, almost not there kind of thing. So we're gonna do a little bit of inking and then we're gonna line up the stencil. We can look right through to the image and line up that stencil right on top and fill in the rest of the pattern. But we're not gonna switch colors here. We're gonna keep it all one color with our sugar cookie ink. And as you lift up that stencil, you'll see this beautiful subtle pattern that's gonna help bring in that stark white cardstock into the pattern paper that we have on our card base. And you can see how pretty that's looking already. And next we're gonna take out some simple wavy banner dies and we're gonna die cut some Blue Jay cardstock to match the ink and match our pattern paper. We're gonna die cut two of those wavy banners and we're gonna do some white heat embossing on these. It'll kind of be like the opposite to the heat embossing we did for the word gratitude. And so we're gonna stamp out the rest of the sentiment which is gonna be for friends like you and filled with. And these banners are gonna go on the top and the bottom of the word gratitude. So we're gonna stamp both of these banners with our clear embossing ink and then we're gonna spray sprinkle on some white heat embossing powder and we prepped it with that anti-static powder tool so that the heat embossing powder will only stick to that sticky ink and we're going to heat those up and we'll have a bright white sentiment on both of these banners which is going to help it pop and really stand out from that busy pattern paper that we have on our card. Now it's time to start building our whole card here. So I'm gonna add some foam squares to the back of those leaves on the Magic Iris Fall Leaves add-on and we're gonna layer that onto the card base. I put my circle there kind of where I thought I would want it just as a guide and that's gonna help me tape that down and then I can take my circle piece and we're gonna add some foam squares to that and layer that on the inside of the circle. I wanted the word gratitude to have a little pop as well. And so we're gonna do that by die cutting the gratitude die without stamping. We're just gonna die cut it from some white cardstock. I die to cut it three times, and then we're gonna add some liquid glue with the glue tube, and we're gonna stack these on top of each other. And that's gonna give us some nice height. It's almost gonna make it look like it's a little special 3D embellishment. So I've added all three of the plain ones, and now we can add the one that we heat embossed at the beginning right on top. And you'll see that it gives us this really, really cool dimension that I really really, really love. It just looks awesome. And it really makes it pop off of that really beautiful kind of fall leaf thing by adding that depth to it. Now we're going to add some foam squares to the back of those wavy banners, and we're going to put those at the top and the bottom of the card. So it finishes up our sentiment. And then we can use some scissors to just trim off any of the excess. We'll add on our word gratitude just by adding a little bit of tape runner on the back. And then we're gonna create a card base. It'll be a standard size at five and a half by four and a quarter. And we're gonna add some tape runner to that and layer that whole beautiful panel on top. And now our card is all done. I love this card so much. I love the pattern papers and the fall leaves and that really cool pop we got by layering all of those die cuts for the word gratitude. Uh, so much fun. Now next up, Shari is gonna be creating a really cool slimline card for us using the You Autumn No stamp set. So take it away, Shari. So I'm going to be making a slimline card today and I've already stamped and colored and die cut all of my images that I'm going to use using the coordinating dies from the You Autumn No set. I'm just going to set those aside and I'm going to work on my background. So I've cut a piece of Bristol cardstock from the small slimline. This is the small slimline with lift the flaps die and I'm using three distressing colors to color my autumn sky. So I'm starting out with some scattered straw. This is going to be towards the bottom. Then the color in the middle is some dried marigold, which is one of my favorite orange colors for a fall sky. I just think it's so pretty and not too, too bright orange. So I'm putting that in the center and you'll see I will go back and forth between the dried marigold and then the scattered straw at the bottom and blend those two out till I get a nice blend between them instead of a harsh line. And then at the very, very top, I'm going to be using some worn lipstick. So this is a really nice pinky red color, but not too dark. And I think that these three colors together are probably my favorites and have been for quite a while to create a fun sunset or an autumn sky like this. So I'm just going back and forth between the worn lipstick and that dried marigold. 
So now that I've got that ink on there, I'm going to put some splatters of just clean water. And this is gonna allow me to add some texture to the background. I'm going to pick up that water with a paper towel and you can see now I have some lighter spots, which add some fun texture to that background. In addition to those lighter spots, I'm going to add some metallic gold watercolor splatters. These are gonna be a little bit smaller than those water droplets, but it'll add a little bit of shimmer to the background as well. So once I have those gold splatters looking the way I want, I'll just set that aside and let it dry. Now for the bottom of this scene, I've cut a piece of cilantro cardstock with that same stitch slimline rectangle so that I have that nice stitching detail on three sides. And then I'm going to use one of the simple stitched hillsides to cut the top of it. So I'll have this little green grassy hill at the bottom of my slimline scene. I'm placing the images on there, these are not yet glued down, just so I can go ahead and stamp my sentiment onto that ink blended background. So I wanna make sure that I have enough space at the top for that little mouse that's floating with the leaf. And I'm using the sentiment that says floating by to say, have a happy day. These sentiments are kind of curved, like they're flying through the air with the wind and the leaves, and they stack really nicely together as you can see here. I'm just gonna pick that up with the door of my Misty and stamp that down with some black ink. So now that that sentiment is on that background, I can start to assemble my card. So I'm just using some liquid glue to put that green piece at the bottom. And then I can add this whole panel to a card base that is three and a half by eight and a half. This is cut from some craft cardstock. So I'm gonna have that nice craft border around this colorful panel. And I'm just figuring out the placement of my leaves and my mice before I glue them down. And once I've figured out where I want them all to be, I can start to assemble them. So this little guy, I'm gonna go ahead and glue him to his leaf that he is sitting on. And then I'm going to add some foam squares to the back so that these are all popped up off that background and I have some nice dimension with all these little mice and leaves. So I'll just continue that process with all the images here, adding some foam squares to the back and placing them back in their spot. This little guy, I'm gonna go ahead and attach to his leaf so it's all one piece. And he is floating through the sky at the top. I also like, you can see how I placed him to where his tail kind of goes off the edge of the colored panel onto that border. And I really like that look of them sort of overhanging this rectangle. So I've added my little guy sitting on the pile of leaves to the bottom and I decided I wanted him to hold this leaf. And then I'm just going to put the rake sort of leaned up against that pile of leaves. So I guess all the work's done and they're just playing in the leaves now. Now to finish this off, there are these little dotted trails in the stamp set and I'm just going to stamp those behind the leaf like it's floating through the air. And then there's another little bitty swirly one that I'm gonna stamp up with my little guy floating with that other leaf. And then here is that finished card. You can see that shimmer in that background and I just think these little mice on the fall leaves are so adorable. Thank you so much for this gorgeous card, Shari. I love how cute these mice look floating through a slimline card. Now next up we have some beautiful cards by the design team. And first we have a really awesome, flippin' awesome card by Marine. And you can see as you pull the tab you get all of these cute little different scenes with the mice floating through the air which is so fun and I love her pink and orange orange color palette so much. Next up, Yanea combined our brand new giant thank you die with these really cute mice floating all around it and I love those reds and oranges. Here is the beautiful card by Megan that inspired me to create the slider card at the beginning of the video. I love these colors so much. Elena got really creative and created a really cool background with the simple stripes die with both white and craft and I just love it for a fun fall look. 
Here Audrey used the stitched windy backdrop to create really cool movement on her card. It really makes those mice feel like they're floating through the air. And this card by Tammy uses the new fall leaves backdrop die in a beautiful background that's just so pretty. And I just love the little guy just bouncing out of the leaves. This card here by Grace is so beautiful. I love the color palette and these little mice are a perfect match for our brand new pumpkin house die. Here Shari created a beautifully clean and simple card that I just love just using the Scripty Autumn Sentiment stamp set. And then here she got really creative and combined the two stamps together with our awesome mug die and I love this look so much. It definitely feels like a pumpkin spice latte. Here Leticia combined the new fall leaves backdrop with the fall leaves background stencil for this amazing just crunchy leaf look that is so beautiful. And then this card by Lynette is so creative and I love that she used the watercolor wishes rainbow paper as the background. It's perfect for fall too. This card by Kara is so cute. I love the dark brown leaves mixed with the wood grain paper. So beautiful. And then here I love that Lynette brought back an older die, our leafy tree backdrop. It's a perfect match for these beautiful you autumn no mice. And this card by Mindy is so fun. I love how she added turquoises into her traditional fall leaf colors. And Elise, oh my goodness, she does the best sentiments. I love fall best of all. I agree, Elise. This card is absolutely stunning. And then this card by Kara is so pretty. I love her no line coloring. It makes it look like a storybook. So we can't wait to see what you guys create with these brand new stamp sets. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today. And I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.